I just wanted to remark also about the young people and how confidently they spoke as, 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 a, mem as a member of Introvert United. <laughs> <laughs> Watching young people you know, talking like this and, and the passion they show and the confidence they show is always very inspiring. Um, so thank you very, very much for this honorary fellowship of education, which is hugely appreciated. Now, I didn't have the pleasure of meeting Naz Bakari, but having read about him and knowing Harris, I do feel like I know Naz just a little bit. Reading about him and about his life reminded me very much of the Martin Luther King quotation, that everybody can be great because everybody can serve. Now, whilst I absolutely do appreciate this award for education, I don't consider myself to be an educational expert. However, I do know a lot of people that are. And through our foundation and our fabulous team, we're fortunate to work with many brilliant academics and educationalists in both formal and informal education. And also with numerous universities, charities and schools across the country. And through and with them, several thousand teachers. To me, philanthropy is all about finding and working with great people. And I would stress the term working with, as in listening to, empowering, building relationships and long-term partnerships. Now, I was with one such partner organisation today on my second visit with them in a fortnight. And a couple of weeks ago, I was on a continuing professional development day up in Manchester, and today I was in Luton visiting with some primary schools. Both of these days were arranged by the Bradford-based Linking Network, an organisation who we have been partnering with for well over 10 years. Their curriculum-based work explores identity, diversity, community, and, in fo and is focused on what can be called contact theory or experiential learning, the immensely important act of meeting <coughs> and talking with people from different backgrounds. And I smiled when I read about Naz's personal passion for this sort of thinking and work, and in particular, his efforts to link British schools with schools across the developing world. In this case, however, rather than linking British schools with international schools, the linking network links British schools with other local British schools. Local sometimes literally around the corner, but often with very different student populations. On the CPD day, a head teacher from Kirklees explained her school's long-standing involvement with this sort of work in a beautifully simple term. She said, we actively value diversity. It is at the core of our offer as a school. I also today learnt an equally straightforward uh, set of words, probably poetic or possibly rap, from a young person who was involved with the, with the programme, who simply said, socialise before you criticise. <laughs> I am certain that Naz would have been delighted to hear such language from both the head teacher and from the student. I am continually amazed and concerned here in the UK how few opportunities there can be to meet and get to know your neighbours who may be a very different background to you, especially for young people. But without these kind of contacts, we can remain strangers to each other with a risk of the suspicion, mistrust and fear of the other that can so easily follow and take root. And whilst quite rightly, Britain prides itself on the value of tolerance. Being understood is clearly preferable to being tolerated. However, understanding of the other requires contact with and knowledge of them. The Linking Network works with committed partners across 26 local authorities. And our main funding partners here are the MHCLG, and I'm delighted to say the Department for Education. And thank you very much, Minister. We are, of course, also absolutely delighted to be a co-supporter of one of the NAS Legacy Foundation's initiatives, 
the annual interfaith iftar that we've been hearing about. An important and excellent event that provides great opportunity to bring a very diverse group of people together to celebrate faith and identity. And it's another absolutely outstanding example of contact theory at work. In a climate of increasing polarization <coughs> and incivility, catalyzed by what should perhaps be called anti-social media, it will be all too easy to feel negative and despondent. However, organizations across the UK, like the NAS Legacy Foundation, the Linking Network, many of you in this room, the Princess Trust, Mosaic and so on, and many, many others, and the tremendously committed people who sit behind this work, makes me feel positive and confident. Together we can, and we do, make our communities, our country, and the world a better place. So let's keep at it. Thank you very much for the audience.